Viewers, welcome to our courses and little tips that I am offering you to make your communication very productive and very effective. I have already discussed with you the barriers which come in the way of good communication that is from the speaker's point of view. But viewers, let me also tell you one thing that a receiver is also responsible for continuing a good communication. A receiver initially may be slow in receiving, may be non-participant, but gradually we notice that the receiver also plays a pivotal role, a vital role in taking the communication forward. I start with a few of the receiver oriented barriers that we have here. First of all, poor retention. Now what does that mean? It means that the receiver is listening to the speaker but cannot link to the previous concept because of poor retention. He or she is forgetting. Now what is the antidote for that? It is best to keep a little notepad handy. So once we get to listen to certain informations, it's best to put a few points down. We move on to inattentive listening. In this case, viewers, it's a very, very common problem which many suffers. And why? Because there's kind of distraction. At the same time, there is parallel thinking going on, maybe. So inattentive listening requires improved concentration. An improved concentration is the best. That means, please remain focused when you are listening. The previous point which I mentioned, noting down points will also help here. Thirdly, tendency to evaluate. You know viewers, it is a very very common problem with many people that just listening to a few words let us leads us and let us into a kind of a judgmental problem. We start judging what is coming next, what is coming next. But most of the time we lose out on the most important aspect that maybe there is something very important which the communicator is trying to give us but we have already judged. So do not be judgmental, delay in evaluation and how do we do that? Listen to the entire conversation. Then you go back, give a little thought because you already have your notes. You take a little time and then you start making your evaluation. Don't let yourself into the judgment seat right from start. Next we move on to differing status and position. You see what happens. If we are receiving something from the higher authority, we tend not to make any comment. We become passive listener. That also is not advisable. Or if we hear something from the lower end of the hierarchy in our organization, we tend to give our views over and over again. So either way, we are not being able to receive what we are getting from the vertical side up as well as down. What we need to do is listen to ideas from the higher authorities, even from people who are working under you with you listen to ideas and then later of course you can evaluate and then you can use your judgment you are absolutely free to do that but don't jump into it right from the beginning we move on further uh, differences in interest and attitude there is a lot of difference in interest area that is the speaker and the receiver may not have the same interest area. So what happens? There is filtered listening as we call. 
and half of the information misses out because there is not enough homework done there if it is not your interest area still you need to work on it develop and work on interest area so if it is your interest area you develop and start communicating in a very simple way so that the receiver can understand what you are saying so this is something which we need to do a little bit of homework on now move on to the next conflicting informations conflicting information can be very very difficult to handle especially in an organization and of course conflicting information can be difficult in any situation given the fact that you are unable to make your decision because there is a lot of conflict going on is this right or is that right so what do we do about that clarify doubts and confirm with a feedback suppose the receiver has received certain informations but he is not sure what evaluation he is supposed to make because those kind of informations are leading to some more information which needs clarification so there's a lot of conflict conflict always needs to be resolved simple so we need a feedback so that we understand whether you have received the right information your feedback will clarify that so moment the feedback goes there can be another message coming as a way of correction or as a way of acknowledgement that you have got me right next resistance to change this can be a big problem this of course is related more to personality ego which i discussed in my previous presentations now you cannot be resistant to change in any large organization for that matter even in your social front you have to be flexible that means the best way is that you understand and try and find out what is good in what has been given to you will that help your organization it's not about whether your ideas have been accepted or whether the receiver's idea and the sender's idea is conflicting so there could be a lot of problem related to this resistance it's best to solve problems in a very amicable manner and be flexible to change lastly refutation and argument you see what could happen when you are resistant to any kind of changes you might lead to a kind of argument where you are closed to any kind of uh, accepted facts which could help your organization or which could help you certain accepted facts which have been taken for granted but you are coming in the way you are not allowing people to take it forward you put it this way that you don't want it now that could lead to an argument maybe the other side the uh, sender would be under the impression that this was an accepted fact but you are resisting it so that could lead to argument that could lead to angered and heated exchange which will totally spoil any kind of chance of a good communication so what we need to do have a healthy discussion moment you find that things are getting out of hand moment things get out of hand because you can only control yourself you cannot control the other person immediately turn it into a healthy con conversation and you can always postpone it for a later time in a very very prudent manner because if anger escalates then that will be the end of good conversation so be a little prudent as well and carry on with a very healthy conversation well i was talking about the receiver so what has the receiver to do listen receiver has to listen i have some very good uh, speakers and writers giving their view on listening simon sinek wrote 
there is a difference between listening and waiting for your turn to speak how right this is especially when you are in a panel discussion or suppose it's a group discussion or for that matter it's a kind of a board meeting students gathering you have various scenario where you get your chance to speak but before you speak you have to listen otherwise what you are trying to put forth may not have any bearing to what has been said earlier so in order to keep the connect in order to give a good rebuttal in a debate as well in order to have a good healthy conversation when we are having an open discussion do not only wait for your chance to speak your turn will come but before that listen and make up your mind as to how much you are going to speak the quantum what you are going to speak about because you've heard the other speaking and then of course the delivery which is so important so all of your responses will actually depend on how well you've listened the art of effective listening james cash penny went on to say is essential to clear communication and clear communication is necessary to management success so you see again we boil down to the same point that very good listening is a must in a good management hierarchy that leads to success why because you need to listen to your authority you need to listen to people who are working with you under you waiting for your guidance and this is very important that you have to listen only then you can answer you cannot jump into conclusion as i have pointed out earlier don't judge the judgment part comes in when you are only waiting to speak and not actually listening so viewers take note of that and do listen to anything which is communicated across over to you and here i have something very important <coughs> jintu krishnamurthy says when you are listening to somebody completely attentively then you are listening not only to the words but also to the feeling of what is being conveyed to the whole of it not part of it that means if you remember in my previous communication to you i mentioned about good personality a good communicator has a good personality so when we listen to somebody we are actually getting a preview of the person's personality as well and accordingly you can also prepare yourself to communicate with the person that you are going to have the next conversation with so it's not a part only the speech it's the whole person that we are talking about that's the actual paraphrasing and meaning of this beautiful quote thank you